What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. I know this story is a little bit old or something, but uh, I thought, okay, I've heard this story a lot. And it was when I heard the story, it was uh, right at the time, right about the time I heard about the Amanda Todd case. Uh, but this one, I thought it was kind of fucked up and odd out the way because the story I heard is something stupid. It happened out of San Diego um, about this girl named. Kate, Katie Upton, Upton, something like that, Upton, 16 years old, and some kid in school, I don't know the kid's name, but this kid thought it'd be funny, say, hey, let's start a club called Kill Katie Club, KKK, now, hold on, now, this is where I gotta pump the brakes on this story, they made a group called Kill Katie Club, all three of them, all three words start with K. And the question is, uh, is you ignorant? Is you stupid? KKK. If they would have sat around some black kids, they damn sure would have been jumped. It's not a racial thing, but think about it. KKK. That's a, that that they don't fly right with certain people around the country. KKK. But uh, I think it was wrong for this kid to sit up there and, and start a. Uh, bullying this girl and started a club called KKK and he said it was just a joke I don't think it's a joke where this girl drops out of school and goes into uh, homeschool and all like that and he says the guy he says I don't know this kid's name don't want to know this kid's name he said oh she's been bullying a bunch of people like I don't like if she's been bullying a bunch of people I don't think she would have started a club called KKK or where's the evidence where she started bullying people ain't nobody came forward but the people that got caught for the threatening messages and the people that started the Kill Katie Club I say they're the only ones that say oh she been bullying people too but you got caught red handed don't trying to blame somebody for your mistakes man and they say oh she's only doing this for publicity well going on Dr. Phil that is a big publicity stunt not trying to put down Dr. Phil but that's a big publicity stunt but still to make up a group called Kill Katie Club that's still wrong that's a new type of uh, bullying in school like, I'm going to put the story in the description box and uh, from the video clip of ABC and the uh, story of the uh, in the description box. But it still, it still doesn't sit right with me where people, when kids are making clubs like this, where, oh, we're not, we're just making jokes, we're not going to kill her, we just do that just to be funny. No, 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 no. When you bully somebody and make up a club like KKK, man, that's no joke, man. I don't think dropping out of school is a big publicity stunt. I don't think. And that's stupid of him to say to... It's stupid. It's wrong. It's ignorant. But... I wonder how to, I'm like, if I was this boy's son, I would feel embarrassed. I'd be embarrassed. If I find out my child has made a club and the three letters start with KKK, I'm going to lay the smack down on him because ain't no child of mine going to come up with a, uh, with a club called KKK. It's unnecessary, it's wrong, and it's stupid as hell. It's it just it's just something else, man, about this stuff and girl receiving light. One thing is, when the club was started, the the, the authorities didn't do nothing. They said, oh, can't do nothing about it." But when she started receiving threatening messages, that's when they want to step in and say something. Why ain't y'all do nothing then when they started the club called KKK Kill Katie Club? But now, but now. After she's been threatened, y'all want to step in and say something. That's, I, I think that's stupid. And I think it's ridiculous. I think that's horrible for one person to do.
Like, this is getting ridiculous more and more by the day. Every time I hear something about a kid getting bullied, it's getting even worse about what they're doing. About how the kids are getting bullied or how the kids are getting dead wrong. I'm not going to that that is just ridiculous on how people do these things just to make themselves look good. Like I said, the kid trying to point blame back at the girl that's the victim. I can say, oh, she's not the victim. She's not the victim. Well, I don't think having somebody make a club called Kill Katie Club. I don't think she's. I don't think she's the the suspect. I think she's the victim because somebody made a club called Kill Katie Club. She's the victim. But this motherfucker say he's not the victim. You the fucking you the fucking suspect. Oh, if he was just joking around, the fucking club would never exist, it dumbass. Ha <laughs> ha, kill Katie Club, that's not that fun. Don't don't try to point the finger at somebody else and give them the blame for something that you fucked up on. I I, I gotta ask. See, all this spanking, all this oh you can't beat your kids. Motherfucker, in times like this, you need to beat the shit out of them. They need to go and drop that. Oh, you can't beat your kids. When they do super shit like this, you need to beat the holy shit out of them. That's all that is, man. That's all that is. It's a bunch of bullshit. Saying she's only doing that. They saying this girl's mom is only doing this for publicity. Getting texts, getting Twitter. Getting Facebook saying the girl needs to die, the girl needs to move to Antarctica, the girl needs to do this, and all this and that. That is not a publicity stunt. That is threatening letters from teenagers from the school she went to, from the classmates she has. Now she's in homeschool. Now she is in homeschool. Now this is, uh, it, it's just so frustrating. I'm sorry, y'all, that the video don't sound right, but to me, it's so fucked up that. This girl's going through this, and they think she's only doing this for a publicity stunt. No, I'm trying to get pregnant and get on MTV 16 and pregnant, that's a publicity stunt. But being bullied to a point where somebody makes a fucking club saying Kill Katie Club. I know I'm like a broken record by saying this girl's saying the club's name, but it's how, it's how it is. This is ridiculous that this girl had to go through this. Like I said, Threatening messages, committing suicide is not a publicity stunt. Get, uh, for a 16-year-old girl getting knocked up and trying to get on MTV, uh, MTV 16 and pregnant or Teen Moms, that's a fucking publicity stunt. Not threatening messages on Twitter or Facebook. So get that shit out your head. Now this shit's about to go on Dr. Phil in November. In November about this whole situation and the mother of this dumbass kid is sitting over there antagonizing the mother of this girl now how come this kid and his mom is going to get away with so much but this girl and her parents is going to have to uh, are going to catch the bullshit in hell for it I'm telling you man this makes no sense man how how so many kids can get away with so much because oh man they ain't physically do nothing to the person all this weird like they say six and stones may break my bones but words can kill you think about that sticks and stones may break your bones but words can kill you and, and well, I'll tell you this man people th this this is not right man don't you can sit there and say, oh, it's freedom of speech. I don't think killing Katie Club is, feeling, is, is freedom of speech, man. I don't think name of the club, kill Katie Club, is freedom of speech. This is just stupid and wrong for anybody to do that to a person. Because one thing is, I'm not going to start a club so that I will kill this person, kill that person. Because one thing is, it's unnecessary for somebody to, to ever come up with a story like that, man. And this shit's about to go on to the Dr. Phil show next month. I think that is the biggest problem. If this shit is not a publicity, it's not a publicity stunt. I wouldn't go on Dr. Phil and put it out there, man. The story should be on there, but not the people that's like, like the girl, the Mendez parents. Yeah, they need to go on there because their child just committed suicide. But this, I don't think it needs to go up on Dr. Phil. 
<laughs> and for other people, they say that for other people say, what about the people that's in the army? They they die every day, and their stories never get told. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Not in certain states, but they do get told. I've actually had seen two stories of kid, two dudes from Franklin getting killed. Now they buried. Now they got buried sometime last a few months ago. I'm always hearing so, stories about soldiers getting killed and being buried every day. Same as just as kids getting committing suicide and dying every day. There's a guy that was a football player, NFL player, left the army. Tiger. I think the kid's name was Tiger. He was a football player and in the NFL name was Tiger. I think that was his name. Died in a rag from friendly fire. Killed by his own men. And the government lied about it. If that ain't a fucking soldier story, I don't know what the fuck is. They made it into a movie about how they lied and covered up this soldier's murder. His parents did not know to two years, like what, two months or two years later, dude talking about ain't no soldier stories been told they have been told but it's the, but it's this right here <coughs> excuse me when a kid goes to school and she's get bullied to the point where they make a club just to make a club like kill katie club just to fuck with her that is unnecessary and ain't nobody and to me giving a kid like him a slap on the wrist is no uh we kill katie club we get to walk free. No, no, fuck, fuck this probation shit. Fuck this damn community service shit. Let them do some fucking jail time. They can fuck them. If they can come up with doing this club name, they can do some fucking jail time just as well as the next fucking in line. I'll tell you, there's been kids that actually went to jail for bullying and ain't nothing. But I just don't get these people no more. These kids need to learn a fucking lesson, man. This is 2012, and people are getting away with so much. Getting away with so much. This kid's about to walk away with getting away with so much. He's been arrested, but I don't, I don't think they're going to prosecute him because it's... But that's how it is, man. But, uh... But it's like this, though. That's, but it's like this. Don't worry about that damn dog. But, but it's like this dog. But it's like this though, man. That I think it's unnecessary for this to happen. And uh. But uh, that's how it is, man. It's unnecessary. But uh, but but it's like this, man. Like I always say, man. It's just wrong for this to happen, and uh, it's just so fucked up, man. But but well, this has been another Afro Joe video. Tell like T I is again, man. Just follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. I'm going to try to see if I can upload this video up on my friend's channel just to help her out. But peace, love, and out for weeks, man. Like I said, man, let's put an end to this cyberbullying and this bullying in school. Peace out, man. Do the right thing.